What's going on guys, my name is Brendan Myers and currently we're going through an unfortunate pandemic and it's our jobs to stay indoors and at the same time, take care of our own health. So I wanted to give back in some way, shape or form and this is my way. So welcome to my new series, 30 for 30. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The 30 is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause check out problems Welcome to day one of my first ever free at home bodyweight training program called 30 for 30 here on YouTube. You don't need to click any links. It's not gonna be off site. It's right here every morning. And if there is not a video every morning, that means you are resting at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, if it's not posted the video by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that means you're supposed to rest. If you do work out on your own, that's on you, but I highly suggest it with the intensity of the workouts. Now, I wanna give you a few tips that you could be following through these training sessions and also through future training sessions. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So for today's workout, it's going to be chest and triceps. Now, number one, we wanna always make sure that our spine is straight. This is a neutral position. Number two, if you're a beginner, keep your knees on the ground. Now, if you're more advanced, pause your reps at the bottom or at the top of the movement or make them more controlled with a little bit of time under tension. This moves me to number three. TUT stands for time under tension. This is a controlled movement of anywhere between five to eight seconds moving each way. That's throughout your contraction. Number four, always warm up before you get started. Number five, if something is too hard, don't push through the pain with bad form. Technique is everything. Just stop. I promise it won't hinder your gains. And lastly, number six, don't forget your create new greens every damn morning. Let's get started. Okay, okay, last thing I promise. Before every single superset or set, we're gonna show you exactly which muscles are being activated. You'll see what I'm talking about in just two seconds. So without further ado, buckle up. It's gonna be a good one. Okay, good news. Number one, you don't need any shoes. So bring your bare feet out and really just embrace the nakedness of your feet. All right, Spider-Man push-ups is the first movement. Make sure our hands are about shorter width apart, squeezing in our abs, almost pushing away from the ground in a way so your scaps are going away from each other, okay? Squeezing your glutes as hard as possible. Now, you're gonna move one hand about six to eight inches forward, okay? As you do that, this other leg is gonna come up almost like a fire hydrant. So let me show you on the other side. It's one arm forward, fire hydrant, coming down, boom, and coming right back up at the same time, okay? So it'll look something like this. Now, if it's too hard for you, take one knee down and you'll be good to go. Okay, second set. We have frog leap push-ups going straight into this is a super set, chest squeeze pulsators. Now, I highly suggest you wear some socks or it could burn the top of your foot. Also, even if you're not putting it on top of your foot and you'll see what I'm talking about, you still wanna wear socks because it might be rubbing at the bottom of your foot. So your hands are gonna be just outside of the shoulder width apart. Make sure you're in that neutral position. Now look at my feet. Instead of being right here, we're gonna flip them over as so, okay? Now leapfrogs each way. So you're gonna come down and leap forward. Boom, and come back. And forward and back. Now, key here. If it's too hard for you, put a padding on your knees and go ahead and slide that way. Padding on your knees and also something to protect the top of your feet. We're gonna be moving straight into chest squeeze pulsators, okay? Now, you can be on your knees, whatever, it's completely fine. Hands are gonna be as so. You're going to flex and internally rotate at that shoulder joint, okay? Hands are gonna be here, keeping those elbows high. Now, you're going to keep your chin back, neutral position with your spine, and press and let go. Press and let go. Press and let go. Press and let go. Consistency is key here. All right, we have wide pulsators. Now, pulsators are generally pretty fast, but we're gonna make them a little bit slower. So wide push-up pulsators going straight into, and this is a superset, pike push-ups, but a closer stance with your hands, okay? So, hands. Outside our shoulder width apart, about five to six inches. Now you're gonna externally rotate at your shoulder joint, okay? As so, all right? Going pretty wide. Now, you're gonna go into this push-up position. 
Make sure they're really, really wide and you're not having your head hang too much. Push away from the ground. You're gonna come down, allowing your elbows to come a little bit higher up and almost as if you're going into like an abduction of your shoulders, okay? So down, up, and you're gonna be coming down and up slowly, about a four inch range of motion. <laughs> and these are pretty damn tough. Then you're gonna be going into, thank you Apple Watch, a pike push up with a close stance. So, hands just within shoulder width apart. Now if you're a beginner, you can bend your knees a little bit more. I'll bend my knees slightly for this one. You're gonna be coming to the top of your head, just about shoulder width apart here, okay? Coming with a straight spine as much as possible, coming here to your forehead, to the top of your head, and then right back up, okay? Just gonna be working your triceps a little bit more. And there you have it. All right, here we go. Tricep floor extensions. We're gonna do as many reps as possible. Okay, so our hands are gonna be just within shoulder width apart. I do recommend if it's a little bit too hard to go a little bit wider, that will allow you to have a little bit more leverage, okay? So, shoulder width apart right here. Your elbows, you almost wanna feel like you're externally rotating at that shoulder here, okay? And as you're coming back, you're gonna be in a push-up position now. A little bit easier, you can shift backwards and keep your butt up. A little bit harder, you can shift a little bit forward and push away from this position. Squeezing in your glutes, staying in the neutral position, you're gonna be pressing up, away from the body, making sure that our elbows are not flaring out, coming right back down, right before you're about to touch the ground, come right back up. If you wanna go on your knees, go ahead and do so. Just make sure you're shifting forward and keeping that chin back. All right, last superset, let's finish strong. So we have time under tension, door hinge, chest flies, okay? So we're gonna come up to a door, It'll be about, I would say, a foot, a little bit more away from the door. We're gonna put our arm against it, touching the door hinge, from our elbow all the way to our hands. Open up your hands slightly. Keep your chin back, okay? In this position, it's gonna be very important that you follow the cues. Time under tension is eight seconds each way, okay? So you're gonna be pressing in from your elbow to the door hinge as hard as you can the whole time. Keeping your chin up, abs tighten in, and you're gonna be coming this way. You're gonna be turning towards your arm, almost like you're trying to touch your chest all the way to your bicep and coming right back out. Again, it's gonna be eight seconds each way. Then we're gonna be going into chair dips, okay? Table dips, whatever you wanna call them. Our hands are gonna be just outside of our waist. Now, very important thing to note, when you are coming down in this position, you don't want your elbows to flare out and your, el your shoulders to internally rotate. That's how you risk a lot of injuries. That's why you get injured. So when you're coming down, this is again, time under tension, keeping everything tight, keeping our chin tucked, squeezing in our abs, coming down very, very slowly, making sure we're on the palms of our hands or in the middle of our hands and coming here, not coming too low. The second you feel like you're at your shoulders are at risk, you're doing it incorrectly and you're gonna be coming straight back up as so. That's your last superset. All right, so there you have it. That is your chest and triceps workout for the day at home, free bodyweight training program, 30 for 30, which means check your subscription box. If you haven't already, turn your post notifications on, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll find out if there's a workout for the day by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If there isn't, remember, that means it's a rest day. I'm Brendan, follow me on Instagram, at the B Myers, and thanks for tuning in for this workout. <laughs>